Hey guys, Tyson here with Kicker Technical Support. What we're going to do today is we're going to go over wiring up three of our comp single voice coil two ohm subs. What we're going to do today is we'll run them in series. It gives a total output of roughly around five ohms for our amplifier. So that means we're going to look for an amp that could probably try and make its best power around four ohms so we can get somewhere as close. If the ohm load was really low, like let's say we had an amp that was at two ohm made a lot of power, it would cut it down quite a bit. So we want to look for an amp that's close to around four ohm while making good power out. You want to run them in series because if we were to tie everything in parallel, like positive to positives, negatives to the negatives and out, we're going to be under a one ohm load. There's not many amplifiers on the market like we had back then where we're half ohm stable and things like that. So your best bet is to take everything and wire it in series because if you parallel it, odds are your amp is not going to be half ohm stable. To get started, what we're going to do is flip our subs over. We're going to have one positive and one negative per speaker. To do series wiring, we'll go from the negative of this speaker to the positive of this speaker. So negative to positive. We'll do the same thing out on this side here. We'll go from the negative of this one to the positive of this one. So be my lead to my amplifier. Positive wire into the positive terminal of this speaker. A negative lead into the negative of the last sub over here. He's flipped over. Just want to make sure all of our connections and everything is in there nice and tight, good clean wires and everything. Then to double check it all, what we'll do is we'll come out here to our meter. Negative lead to the negative of the meter. And our positive lead to the positive of the meter. It's going to put us about five and a half up to six, somewhere around in there. So you're going to look for an amp. Like I said, you'd want to look for an amp that can make its best power at four ohms so that you're not going to drastically lose a lot of, a lot of your, your power out of your amp. Also, if your box has dividers, just go through and drill some small holes big enough to run your wire through. Uh, you can silicone it shut if you want. Uh, you don't have to. It's not going to hurt anything. It's just a small, small hole. Uh, and overall, like I said, just look for an amp that can be close to 4 ohm. But this is three woofers that are 2 ohm single voice coil wired in series. Thanks. Bye.